guys, this is my first pregnancy vlog ever. And yes, I waited a little long. I mean, I'm at 37 weeks and four days right now. So you can see I'm sporting quite the bump, quite the basketball right here. But I figured, why not now? Better late than never, right? So I wanted to share my tips and personal recommendations and suggestions, but I also just wanted to have some good old conversation about what it's like to be pregnant. It's definitely been quite a journey. Started showing a lot like this in March. So that was when things really got kicked up a notch. I think it's when everybody around me were like, oh, you're actually pregnant. My husband up until that point, knew I was pregnant, but it wasn't until like he could see it himself that he's like, oh, you're really pregnant. For those of you that don't know already, it is a baby girl. We are close to her due date. It's May 26th. So we're just like two weeks or so away. I just had a doctor's appointment today and they actually said uh, she could arrive any moment. So I have to be ready. I want to show you a quick picture. Here she is. It's kind of hard to see even when you're holding it. But you can see her little face right now. She is fully formed. She's just putting on fat. She's just getting a little bit chunkier and fatter, but all of her systems are formed. So if she was born at this very moment, she could survive and be totally fine. This pregnancy, um, everybody asks me, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? It's like the number one question I get. Honestly, I've been feeling really good. I don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. I've been feeling great this whole pregnancy. I didn't really get morning sickness. I had it for like a day or two. So I think I got really lucky there. You know, you're tired in the beginning and then second trimester you get a lot of energy and so you feel good. I think the biggest thing is you're just lugging around all this extra weight. So of course your back's gonna hurt and of course your legs are gonna get sore. I pulled some muscles in my butt and in my back. But that's to be expected, and I feel like that wasn't so bad relative to what I've heard from other people who are pregnant. I think the hardest thing for me was figuring out how to sleep. Sleeping is tough because you can't sleep on your back, and I am a back sleeper. You can't sleep on your back because it actually cuts off some of the oxygen going to the baby, so that's a pretty big deal. So you have to sleep on your side. The preferred way to sleep is actually on your left side, and then your side gets tired and you want to turn over and it's kind of hard. What I totally would suggest is the body pillow. I bought one of them on Amazon. They were like $60 and they look ridiculous. They go around your whole entire body and it kind of like spoons you. I actually prefer to have it in front of me so I'm like hugging it and at first I hated it. I felt like it was so weird and unnecessary and like having another body in the bed. It's really big. But I have to say now the body pillow is like my best friend. My husband thinks that I like it more than him because I'm constantly like cuddling it and spooning it. And now I actually like put it underneath my belly so it kind of like supports it a little bit so my belly's not just hanging there which is great. I've paid a lot of attention to staying active. I think, as most of you probably know already, I'm a pretty active person in general, working out pretty much every day, um, always trying to be outdoors or doing something athletic, even if it's a mild form of exercise, but just doing something, getting the blood flowing. I feel like it makes me more creative, it makes me in a better mood, and it's just all around, I know it's what my body needs. During the pregnancy, I basically worked out the same all the way up until I started really showing. By the same, I mean I wasn't doing jumps, I wasn't doing lots of abs, but everything else I was doing, cardio classes, spin classes, I was running. Then it got to a point where I just couldn't run anymore. It just hurt. It was just too much, like, you know, too much pressure if you're, like, going up and down. So I remember my last run, I was like, oh, I, I can't do that. And I had to stop halfway through and start walking. What I do now and what I've done the last like eight weeks or so is a combination of long walks. So walking is great. It strengthens not only all your muscles and your legs, but it also strengthens your uterus, which I had no idea that you could even do that. But your uterus is a muscle and it's strengthening that, which is super important for delivery, obviously. I try to do them as briskly as I can, but not to the point where you're like fast power walking, like a little bit less than that, but like a good, a good solid pace. You're not just dawdling along. You're trying to actually get somewhere. And if you're going for a long walk, you're going to need to go pretty fast otherwise it's gonna take forever they recommend and by they I mean like my doula and doctors they recommend like four to five miles and that can be a pretty significant chunk of time so I've been waking up earlier doing lots of walks outside on the beach it's a great way to get fresh air hear the birds singing sunshine I mean 
all those positive vibes. It's almost like a morning meditation to me. I definitely try to incorporate walking at least two to three times a week. I should probably do it more. But I also like to swim. And swimming is really, really fun, especially when you're pregnant, because your whole body is supported. And you don't even realize you're pregnant when you're in the water. I do laps. I love doing freestyle and breaststroke. And I kind of keep track of how many I do. I usually do like a 1500. It takes me about 35, 40 minutes. You're outside, you're in the beautiful water. I don't know if you have pools near you, but for me, our pool is outdoors and it's really cheap to go there. It's like $3. It's probably the cheapest thing I can do besides just walking outside. I swear that the baby seems to like it because after I swim, she's always moving a lot more than usual, wiggling around. She must feel some of that weightlessness in there and I think she really likes it. So walking, swimming, and I also love to spin. Spinning has always been one of my favorite exercises just because it's fun. Music and there's a lot of energy in the room. There's usually a really motivational instructor and that kind of stuff just gets me going, especially the music. I always try to go to Flywheel now at least once a week and Flywheel is pretty tough. It's definitely my hardest workout of the week at this point. What's great about it is you're stable. You're in one spot, you're not twisting, you're not jostling the belly all over the place. It's really just all about your legs. And then they do some arm work too. And then besides those, I've been incorporating yoga, I've been doing some Pilates, but I always make sure to tell the instructor, hey, I'm pregnant. At this point, it's pretty obvious, but there was a time where it wasn't obvious, so I had to always tell people. So I think it's really important to find instructors who are specially certified in prenatal because they really understand and they really know. So staying active has kept me feeling good, has kept me positive. I honestly sometimes get overwhelmed and emotional and or like, I can't handle this. I don't know what's about to happen to my body. I don't know what's to do with a newborn, when I just get all these emotions, I feel like nothing makes me feel more calm or grounded or centered more than exercise. It just makes me refocus and reprioritize and just calms me down. Down the road, not for some time, I need a break, but down the road when I'm pregnant again, I definitely want to make sure that I stay active and I want to tell all of you that it's really important, not just for your physical health or for an easier delivery, which it definitely helps with, but for your mental health. So when you make time for it all the way along, I think it'll be easier when it gets to the end, when it's, you know, you're bigger and it's a little bit harder and you get out of breath faster. But if you've been working out the whole way through, you'll push through and maybe you're not gonna go as far or as hard or as often as you used to do. You're still gonna have that endurance and you're still gonna have, you know, that stamina that you really need. And you're gonna need a lot of stamina when you're a new mom, right? And it's what's helped me a lot, and I feel really good. I have a lot of energy right now. I'm almost at 38 weeks, and I feel great. I already worked out today, but I feel like I could work out again. Thanks for watching my pregnancy vlog. My next vlog is going to be on food. I'm going to talk about all the different foods that I recommend, some uh, really interesting tips and tricks that other moms told me about that I had never heard about and had never found on Google or anywhere else. So we want to make sure that we're feeling good and our muscles are strong and our body is active and strong, but we also are putting in good nourishment in there. Nourishment is very important for this little girl because she's relying on me. So anyway, thank you and I'll talk to you guys soon.